All right, my dear students, this is ARD, your accounting coach, and today we are going to solve a question for petty cash book. Now, this is the exercise. I would recommend that you keep a picture of this or you can print it out so that for reference you can see the transactions. I am reading the question for you. It is exercise 1. The following is a summary of the petty cash transactions of a school for September 2018. Now, September 2018 transactions are given. On 1st of September, the head teacher gives $300 as a float to the petty cashier payments out of the petty cash during September. Now, before going to, through this exercise, I would strongly recommend that you go through uh, the concepts lecture for petty cash. So, if you have already gone through the concepts lecture, which is around a 10 minutes lecture, you may proceed to this question. Now, on 1st of uh, September, uh, we have received $300 from the head teacher and now we are assuming that we are petty cashier. So, $300 is a float so that we can run the general expenses for the school. Now, these are the transactions that we have uh, gone through for, for this month. On the 2nd, we have fueled uh, petrol in the school bus that is $16. Then we have paid J. Green traveling expenses. Then there is a postage expense. Then there is the name of the people D. Davis. Uh, we have paid uh, traveling expense to D. Davis. Then the cleaning expenses are there. Then again, there is a petrol. So there are n number of transactions there. And what is happening at the end of the month, the head teacher reimburses the petty cashier the amount spent in the month. Now, let us start the question. Now, this is the format for petty cash book that we discussed previously. Now, there are two sides of a petty cash book. The left hand side is a debit side and the right hand side is a credit side. Now, as you may see, there is only one details column uh, as compared to the petty cash book uh, in contrast to the petty cash book in contrast to the cash book where there were two details column. One was for debit side and one was for credit side. Now, we'll be using only one column for the details. Uh, this is a date column and the we, we may start the question. Uh, the, the question, the month that is given in the question is September 2018. So, we will be writing September 2018. Uh, heading uh, is for school. We are making this petty cash book for a school. Now, there are analysis columns that need to be made. If you see the question again, you may take the picture of the question uh, for a reference. There are some types of expenses that are repeated continuously. One is petrol. So, I am making a fuel column for petrol. You can also make a motor expense column. That would be perfectly fine. Then there is a traveling of staff. So, I am making another column for traveling expenses. Then we have postage. So, this is repeated quite frequently. So, I am writing a postage analysis column. Then we have some cleaning expenses. So, therefore, I am making a cleaning column. And lastly, I am going to make a ledger account. So, this ledger account column is basically for my suppliers. Whenever I am paying money to our creditors from the petty cash book, I will be writing it in ledger account. So, let's start the question. Uh, the question states on the 1st of September, the head teacher has given us $300 as a float. So, $300 are being received by us that this we are petty cashier. Uh, we have received $300 on the 1st of September. So, I may write September 2018 once in order to avoid writing it again and again. So, this was the money that we received from the main cashier. The entry would be petty cash account would be debited. This is the petty cash account and the bank account would be credited. So, the bank entry opposite entry would be made in our main cash book. So, these are both part of double entry whether it is a cash book or whether it is a petty cash book. These are both, these both the books have dual roles. What does this mean? Dual roles, these are also books of original entry so that first of all, all of the cash and bank transactions are recorded in these books and these are also ledger accounts. These are also part of double entry. Means we do not need to make separate accounts for cash and bank or petty cash because these books will do the needful. Then we have transactions on the 2nd of September we paid for petrol for $16. We will be writing petrol in the reference and total paid $16. Now the petrol for school bus will be, will be posted in one of these columns. So the petrol would be fuel. So petrol, fuel, CNG would be in this. 
then on the third we have j green traveling expenses staff j green is a staff member we paid him 23 dollar because the this is a traveling expense we'll be writing in a different column that is 23 dollar so the fuel is for school bus this is a separate column for this and the traveling is for the staff so we are making analysis column separately then we have a postage expense for 12 dollar and the postage would be in this postage column. We can also make a, a combined column for postage and stationery. Then on the fourth, we have Dave Davis. Again, the, this is our employee. So we'll be writing uh, employee expenses in the heading of traveling because these are paid for traveling. Then we have a cleaning expense. We'll be writing in total as well. Every item would be written in a total paid, all of the expenses. And simultaneously, these would be written in one of these columns. Then we have petrol again. Then we have K. Jones. This is our employee. We have paid for traveling expense. Then petrol again. I'm moving it forward because this is a repetitive task and there's nothing new to learn here. Then we have petrol and then postage. Postage would be written in postage column. Then we have cleaning. Uh, this is basic much uh, pretty much easy now on the 27th there is different transaction uh, the question states settlement of C Brown's account in the purchase ledger now you may be aware there are three ledgers one is sales ledger one is purchase ledger and one is general ledger in the sales ledger there comes customer accounts in the purchase ledger there comes suppliers accounts and in the general ledger there are some other accounts such as sale purchase income expense etc etc so the purchase ledger it is the supplier C Brown we have paid uh, $13 to him so the supplier is not expense we have already bought goods on credit from the supplier and now we are going to pay back the money that we owe so we'll be writing in a separate column known as ledger account then the last transactions on 29th again it is the postage now the last part is very important what we need to do uh, first of all we need to add up this total paid column so in uh, whole of September in the whole month we have uh, actually spent $244 out of our petty cash now what we need to do we need to add up all of these analysis columns as well so the total expense on fuel was 87 uh, and on traveling there was 75 so that there would be uh, this information is very important for management so that they can see which area in which area there should be some control over expenses and in the which category there are expenses that are out of our budget then there is postage expense then there is cleaning and there is ledger account so what we need to do we need to add up all of these analysis columns and total for all of this should uh, equate to 244 this means the total that we spent in each category uh, is the same as so this vertical total and this horizontal total should be the same 244 this just just confirms this that all of the expenses that we have paid in this month are being entered in total paid as well as in separate analysis column as well now the last part of this is very important on the last line of the question I am reading on 30th the head teacher reimburses the petty cashier the amount spent in the month so what happens uh, whatever amount that we spent in this month would be uh, reimbursed to us from uh, maybe cashier or some uh, higher member of the staff so what we are going to do whatever amount that we have spent during the current month would be received back from the main cashier so we have spent 244 dollar we need 244 dollar again in order to make our petty cash flow to again 300 what happened my dear uh, we had 300 dollars at the start of the month out of which we spent 244 dollar now we are only left with maybe 56 dollar in hand so we need to make this 56 dollar again to 300 dollar so whatever amount that we spent during this month would be received by us through uh, other person so 244 dollar uh, this was paid and this would be written in received again so our mm, head teacher reimbursed this amount to us so we can write the reference here cash or as well as bank both are acceptable so what happened now uh, on 30th september there is some balance cd again 300 so how come this is again balance cd is 300 uh, we had 300 at the start of the month out of which we spent 244 and the exact amount that we spent we got this from our main cashier so this and this cancel out so, so the 300 is again 300 
at the end of the month now we need to uh, as you may see we did not total this 244 previously we just total the analysis column and now at the end of the month we will be totaling all of these 244 was spent and 300 was still remaining so total is 544 on the both the sides this is the debit side and this is the credit side now this balance cd becomes balance bd at the start of next month so this 30th september would become 1st October at the start of next month. Now as you may be aware there is only one column for details there are no two details column one for debit and one for credit side so what we need to do we just need to write uh, underneath this balance brought down that is $300 on 1st October 2018. So I hope my dear students I was able to explain you the concept or, and the workings behind a petty cash book. Now if you do like my video I would suggest you to subscribe my channel. Thank you.